Last night I read this book. Um, it was written by a friend of mine, Patty Lustig, and a client. And in it, she not only tells her story, but she also tells the story of many other women who I actually know from Patty because by her referrals, they've become my clients and friends. And I know these women. I'm reading this book and I'm like, I didn't know this much about Patty and then all the women that she cites and the stories that they tell in it. And these are women that I have worked with and they all have incredible stories. Now, not, not every story is like, I overcame sexual trauma, I overcame poverty, I went from being homeless to living, you know, in my living my dream life. Not every story was like that. A lot of them are very normal stories, typical stories, not normal, but typical stories. And a lot of these women probably didn't think they had anything interesting to say. And I'm reading them and I'm like, I have no idea that all of these women had such rich facets of all of the things they've done over the course of their life. And I wanted to encourage you to think about your story because you're probably thinking, I don't put anything out there in my content because my opinions aren't big thought leader opinions. And I don't have deep, deep, deep thoughts. I am not like going to change the world with this thought today. In fact, here I am talking about, hey, some of us have really like, you know, our stories are kind of like boop, 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 not like, this. And I wanted to encourage you and remind you that your audience needs to fall in love with you and your story. And the only way that you're going to get it out there is by putting your opinions out there and your story out there. And so I wanted to just get on and say, I know you think your life is like no big deal because you're in it every day and you're breathing it every day. And maybe you haven't like gone from, you know, this, this huge, huge climb, but you've had a journey and it is important that other people know these aspects of you that make you you. And of course, in your content, you get to decide what you want to share and what you don't want to share. But if part of what is holding you back is, I don't have anything interesting to say. My life hasn't been that dramatic. It's just kind of meh. Everything's okay. I want to remind you that all of the zigzaggy paths that you have taken and all those little things, the little betrayals, the big betrayals, the little lessons, the big lessons, the little hurts, the big hurts, all of them make up who you are and you deserve to have your voice heard. You deserve to not be invisible anymore. And I don't know if you are keeping yourself small because you think that you're not interesting, but I promise you, you are interesting. It's just that you're so stuck in breathing your your story all day, every day, that you don't find it impactful. You don't find it um, interesting. You don't find it special. But I do. And I, you know, I was reading this book again, Odyssey of a Fearless Woman by Patty Lustig. And I know the women in here. And it's like, damn, there are so many good stories out there. And I know that you have one. So I encourage you to start sharing your perspectives, to start telling your stories, no matter how small you think they are, they're going to impact somebody who needs to hear it. And I hope that that encourages you today to get out there and do it. Bye.